Hey everyone, Mama Overall here. So today we're going to discuss mom life and I'm going to take you in a day of my life and show you how I stay sane. As a lot of you probably don't know, my husband is in the military and when our baby girl was only two weeks old, he had to leave out of state for orders. So I've been home since she was two weeks alone with my son and my little girl and these are some things that I do to stay sane and just what I do every day to keep the peace. When you have a baby, they like to pull on things, one of which is your hair. If you have long hair, the baby will pull on it. So. Whether you put it in a bun, or you braid it, put it in a ponytail, or chop it all off, whatever you want to do, just put it up. What a lot of people don't tell you is that when hair gets in baby's little fingers and gets tangled, it can cut off their circulation in their fingers. And it can also cut them, so when your baby grabs a handful of your hair and rips it out, be gentle when taking the hair out of their tiny little fingers. Because you don't want to hurt them. that your baby can pull on all day long. One of my next mom hacks is wrapping. Wrapping saves your life. Now let's go get the baby. Now that I have my beautiful little baby, I'm going to take this bottom part right here. It's simple, it's easy, it takes a little practice and getting used to, but after you have it all down, you can do anything with the wrap. Um, I suggest a woven wrap. A regular wrap, like a Moby wrap, is kind of stretchy and you can risk your baby falling out. Um, I found that these are perfect if you see on the back. It evenly distributes the weight of the baby across your shoulders and your back. I can bend over and I can jump around, I can dance. The baby is completely secure. She's asleep. It makes life so much easier. Get a wrap. Now, I suggest that you do something nice for yourself. I personally feel that doing my makeup makes me feel secure, put together, and even if I feel like crap and a mess in my head, at least I'm, I don't look like I'm crazy. Putting on jewelry? simple way to dress up.
without coffee. It's a very scary sight to see. I wish it had a busy in our lives, but you have to remember to eat. If you don't remember to eat and take care of yourself, you're not going to be able to take care of your baby, your husband, your boyfriend, whoever else is in your life. Take care of yourself, girl. Don't forget to take your prenatals. And I personally like to take lion's mane mushroom to help with that brain fog and a probiotic, especially since it is getting close to flu season. Take them. So one thing that drives us moms nuts is a dirty house. And in order to stay sane, just clean for a couple minutes a day. So I am constantly racing in my head and people call it ADHD. I just call it having a lot of ideas and never completing one task. So something I found that helps me is set a timer or you know a stopwatch, whatever you want to do and see how much you can clean in a certain time frame. So I'm gonna set my stopwatch for 15 minutes and let's see what I get done in the living room. Talking to you. How? She got oh. Now it is very important that when you are a mom, whether you stay at home, you work, whatever, you need to have a social life. You need to get out and you need to go see people. I don't care what you do. If you are going to the park, if you're going on a play date, if you're having a coffee date, get out of the house and get somewhere with people that know your situation and relate to you and that can help you keep your sanity. We're on an adventure. Go see someone do something. I don't care. That was my girl.
baby. It's my baby girl. It's at that time. You don't want to sleep, do you? No bedtime for mommy, huh? No. There we go. All ready for bed. Oh, that's you. Hi, baby. Hi. Are you ready for bed? Oh, is it gonna be one of those nights? Oh. I can't see the I my